Hey everybody, Ben here again. Uh, today I want to tell you about my poor man smart grid concept. This all got started a while back when the, uh, the inexpensive, cheaply made onboard charger for my electric motorcycle uh, quit working on me. And I thought, you know, there's got to be some way I can get a good battery charger, nice and quick, but uh, free or cheap by maybe repurposing something else. And I thought about it for a minute and I realized that a UPS, UPS, an uninterruptible power supply, is really two things. It's a battery charger and it's an inverter. It takes battery power and it converts it to AC power. So a friend of mine recycles computer components and I told him to keep an eye out for me for a 48 volt UPS, which is what we have in front of us right here. Now it's kind of dinged up and it's missing a few screws and it didn't have any batteries, but that's okay because the batteries I'm going to use are the ones that are already in the motorcycle. So at the heart of the system, I have the UPS. Uh, normally this is mounted in an equipment cabinet on the side of my garage. I pulled it out, took the top off to show you how this works. So if we look inside, we can see we've got this original plug um, that goes to the circuit board. And what I did was uh, I took the connector that would have gone to a couple of small batteries right here, and I wired it up instead to an Anderson disconnect. And that's the same type of connector that I have on the electric motorcycle for recharging. And then I also made what amounts to an Anderson disconnect extension cord out of some nice heavy duty uh, six, six gauge cable. And this is plenty long to go from the wall to wherever I have the motorcycle parked. So uh, basically coming out of the UPS, I have these plugged together, goes to that extension cord, and then I plug that into the electric motorcycle. So I can use the UPS to charge the electric motorcycle, but I can also use the motorcycle to power my entire garage or even route power back to my house and have electricity in my house during a blackout. Uh, let's take a quick look at uh, what I actually have to do to make all that happen. So normally this would be mounted in the equipment rack. So our pigtail and our connector would already be together. And then I basically permanently leave this extension cord connected up, uh, except that the cable's routed out through the back of this case. So normally I would pull in, park the motorcycle, I'd pull out the charging plug, and then hanging on the wall I'd have the cord that goes to the UPS. It's, it's uh, marked positive and negative and it's keyed so I can't accidentally plug it in backwards. Just plug it in like that. Next I'd just plug the UPS into the wall outlet and then it'll automatically turn on and start charging the motorcycle. Now if I want to power my garage or my house from my electric motorcycle, I've got this uh, custom cable that I made. This end goes into the back of the UPS and this goes to a dedicated electric outlet that I'm using as an inlet to feed power back to my fuse box. I unplug this from the wall. So I'll plug this into the back and then this into the wall connection. And then what I'll do is at the fuse box, I'm going to turn the main power off. So I'm now disconnected from the grid. I don't have any power in the garage. And the UPS disconnect on. And then you just have to turn on the UPS. It'll beep, uh, let you know it's working. It'll kick on the power. And now the entire garage is running on battery power. If I wanted, I could even uh, run power back to the house. All I'd have to do is make sure that I was disconnected from the grid in the house first. I'd turn off the main breaker, and then out here I would leave the breaker on from here to back in the house. So this whole project originally started off just from me uh, wanting a good affordable charger for my electric motorcycle, and I thought, what the heck, why not expand it? So it's kind of cool. Now if I'm in a blackout, I've got backup power from my electric motorcycle. The poor man's smart grid.